Alright guys, it is scorching fucking hot out right now. It is 102 degrees. The only thing I have is this little bed. I am, it, it, oh my god, it feels like 130 right now. I am sure people have to have died of heat stroke right now if they're like, you know, driving in a car with no air conditioning or anything. I mean, it is just so hot. I know that's off the topic, but I just have to mention it. Alright, new thing on um, our collab channel. So from now on, um, we're going to be doing this thing, you know, where we pick out um, an actor who is starring in a movie that is coming out this week. And each of us will review one of those actors' um, past movies. Now, yes, this is pretty much a copy of what the real reviews did. I will admit that. But, I mean, it's a, real, it's a good idea, and it needs to be done. I mean, why not just carry on that, you know, kind of thing? It's not like just because they did it and they're not doing it anymore doesn't mean, you know, it shouldn't be done anymore. It's a good idea. It's okay if you copy something if you say you're copying it. In my book, I know that's not really the law, but... Alright, anyway, the actor or actress um, that we are picking out for this whole thing we're doing now is uh, Mila Kunis, and I picked the movie Forgetting Sarah Marshall. It's probably my favorite, besides maybe Black Swan, it's probably my favorite Mila Kunis movie. Um, I just re-watched re this uh, movie yesterday, you know, to, you know to, in preparation for this review. It's one of those Jed Apatow um, movies that, you know, Jed Apatow kind of cast, and they're pretty much like the best comedies that have ever come out in a long, long time. Like this super bad, knocked up, 40-year-old version, all the th movies like that, they're like the funniest comedies that have ever come out. The movie is about uh, Jason Segel, whose girlfriend was Kristen Bell, who just broke up with him, and... He's just totally devastated, devastated by it. Uh, Kristen Bell plays like an actress on this big TV show that Jason Segel's character um, composes the music for. She starts seeing this British pop uh, singer played by Russell Brand. He's just to Jason Segel is just totally devastated. So uh, Bill Hader, who plays his uh, stepbrother, I know already there's a huge awesome cast in this. Bill Hader, his uh, stepbrother, recommends he goes away um, to you know kind of forget his troubles and goes to uh, Hawaii. Turns out the exact same place in Hawaii he, that he's at, Kirsten Bell and Russell Brand are also going to at the same time. Mila Kunis also plays, uh, Mila Kunis, our actress of the week, uh, also plays this girl that um, Jason Segel is starting to, you know, go out with and get a little bit, try to take his mind off of Kirsten Bell with. Like I said, this is a huge cast. Um, also, Paul Rudd is also in this movie. Uh, I think his name is Craig Robinson. He's in this movie too. He's the guy from The Office and, you know, Knocked Up and those other ones. Also, uh, what's his name? The guy from 30 Rock is in this movie. Jack McBrayer, he's the really kind of, I guess, flamboyant kind of um, guy, you know. Uh, he's in this movie too, and like I said, that's a huge cast, and they are all so funny in this movie. This movie is just so funny, just laugh after laugh after laugh, and all the actors have their moments. They are all hysterical in this movie. I'd say the funniest might be, I'd say maybe Russell Brand tied with Paul Rudd. Uh, like, Paul Rudd had this thing going on where, he, like, he's, he plays a pot smoker and he would forget everything. He would, he would forget things that happened to him, like, two seconds ago. Russell Brand is just, you know, just has these ridiculous, ridiculous uh, songs that he performs, like one that's called Inside, in, um, <clears throat> damn, voice crack. One that's called Inside of You, and, you know, the lyrics are pretty uh, funny. Jason Segel is really good at playing this kind of, you know, broken down, angry character. Who the fuck? He also wrote this, and he, it's a pretty ballsy screenplay he wrote for himself, because, I don't know, you know, there's some, uh, there's quite a hog fest this movie is. Yeah, it's quite a, uh, quite a sausage factory. Alright, enough of that. He really puts a lot of effort in this, and, you know, proves that he's a really, uh, uh, ballsy actor. Craig Robinson also had this thing, I think it was Craig Robinson, but he also had this thing, you know, where he was just, he just loved fish and couldn't name, like, every fish, um, you know, in the world. He had some really funny moments. Jack McBriar played uh, Christian, who uh, who really didn't want to make love to his wife anymore, but she was pretty much forcing him to. And, oh, I forgot to mention uh, Jonah Hill. Yeah, Jonah Hill is also in this movie. Um, he's really funny as, uh, you know, this kind of nervous, huge fan of a Russell Brand's character, um, Waiter. Or just, just the Hotel's Bitch, that's what I called him. The Hotel's Bitches. They're really just called employees, whatever. Also, Brand, you, you also might know, Graham to the Greek is also, like, kind of like a sequel to this, um, and it has, you know, it's about Russell Brand's character in this. I, I don't know, I, I find it kind of strange that Jonah Hill played a character in Forgetting Sarah Marshall, and he was, the, like, the main character in Get Him to the Greek, yet he 
wasn't the same character. And this really is not only hilarious, but just really, really heartfelt and has a really good message. And I love how these Judd Apatow movies aren't just really, really funny. They're also really good movies with real characters. That's what makes them so funny because the characters are real and you get to relate to them. It, just, it isn't just stupid stuff. I'm, the only really complaint I could have about this movie is it feels maybe a little bit cliche, like a little bit I, like I've seen it before, but I really didn't feel like I was watching uh, the same movie that I have before. It didn't feel cliche. Maybe it was a little cliche, but it, it definitely didn't feel that way. I felt like I was watching an original movie. It's a really good time. If you haven't seen this movie, check it out. Um, I liked it to an extreme. I'd probably give it like a 9, 9.5 out of 10. Uh, really good movie. That was it. See ya.